Last night on Big Brother All-Stars, Kaser Ritta didn't get the birthday present he wanted. He was unexpectedly put on the chopping block after Janelle saved herself by winning the power of veto. It's not about coming out guns blazing. It's about placing yourself strategically. Only people, two people I believe in this house who I know is being completely honest with me is myself and you. And that's it. It's not a pretty game, nor do I expect it to be a pretty game. It's a game, Kayser. I decided to use a power veto on myself. And this is about numbers. Unfortunately, Kayser, I have to nominate you. I'm getting backdoored. I'm not going to take things lying down. Hell yeah, I'm going to fight on. It's not over yet. By a final vote of five to one, Kayser, you have been evicted from the Big Brother All-Star House. Kayser Ritter, good morning. Good morning, Julie. You talked about how it was so important for you to play this game honestly and with integrity. Do you right. think now it's possible to win this game doing so? You tried it in season five, uh, season six, it didn't work. You tried it this year, it didn't work. Um, I think during the All-Star season, it's just virtually impossible. There was too much going on, and, and in hindsight, I just, uh, I'll have to say myself, it's, it was probably impossible. Yeah, last night you looked completely shocked when I revealed to you that James, your Alliance member, is not completely trustworthy. So I want to get your reaction to a piece of secret video that we're about to play of your friend Janelle and you tell me if what you're about to see surprises you. This is a video that no one's ever seen before on primetime or anything like else. Let's go to the videotape. Okay. I was dating a guy. Oh my, um, my friend started sleeping with him. No. no. Men cheat on Janelle? Have you seen that? You looked at Janelle? I did drive to his apartment one night and I saw her car there. I confronted her at the, you say? At the porch and I said, um, he's been sleeping with my man. And I attacked her with a knife. <laughs> So I wrote her a letter and took a knife and I stabbed it in the door of her bedroom. Clearly Janelle has a long-standing history of being very vindictive when things don't go her way. That concerns me a lot. He tried to come over and I took a pan of hot water and we just threw it at him. She told that story and went, bing! You crazy! Now, when she revealed this to you and the others in the house, was this um, eye-opening to you about your... She's one of your closest friends, if not your closest friend in the house. Yeah. Um, well, <laughs> at the time, I thought it was a joke. And then, as the story went on, I realized it was pretty serious. And I just kind of wanted to leave the room. <laughs> <laughs> and, never, and lose her number quickly. I was like, big brother, can you take away the knives, please? All sharp, sharp objects need to go now. But um, Do you have any regrets in how you played this game? No, because I wouldn't have changed anything about the game. I, I would have done things the same. Even if I was picked for a veto, I wouldn't have put people on slop or put them in cots. I. You don't regret shaving your head? <laughs> well, it's like you said, bald is beautiful. <laughs> All right. We like to play a true-false quiz since you've been locked away from the outside world. Tell me if you think these headlines are true or false. Okay. Uh, okay. Yankee shortstop Derek Jeter has a new cologne called Driven, which has hints of grapefruit, driftwood, and moss in the fragrance. True or false? True. Very good. You got that right. Okay. Paul McCartney and estranged wife Heather Mills announced this week that they have reconciled with Mills moving back into the family home. True. That is false. Police were actually called to McCartney's home on Monday after a guard working for Heather Mills climbed the gate to let her in after discovering that all the locks were changed. All right, next. Wow. Rocker Tommy Lee had to call the United Nations for help after an angry concert promoter in Croatia threatened to beat him and take him hostage. <laughs> Sounds crazy. All right, true. You got that right. <laughs> All right, two out of three ain't bad. Case of Rita, thanks so much. Thank you. Enjoy talking to you. We'll be right back. Your local news is next.